Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Had to leave the old uh, Tahoe at home this morning. Take Mama's car into work. The reason why because I came out and had a flat tire. Just sitting on the ground. Of course it hadn't been pumped up in two weeks and it's got a slow leak somewhere. Rather than fix it, I'm gonna get it replaced because they're all pretty much bald now. I don't feel comfortable driving down the road in them so what I did was overfilled it. Since it's a slow leak, just went ahead and overfilled it get me by until I can get to the tire shop and get some new tires put on it but that's the state of things um, yeah that new Saturn well old Saturn new to us um, we're gonna need some gonna need to probably rebuild that gauge cluster in order to get the speedometer working. But everything else should be working fine now. Now it's been cold enough that I've not been able to run it up to temperature, but uh, my wife actually did her own mechanic and after, well, kinda. She kinda did her own mechanic and she got the thing up to, uh, I got to looking at it and found that the fuse was missing from the, the fan for some reason. But the wire's still unhooked. I left it in there, but it's unhooked. And she put the fuse in it, and it's been so cold that we're not sure if it just wasn't kicking on because of the cold or what the situation was. But when she cuts the air conditioner on, the fan kicks on. So worst comes to worst and the thing starts running hot she can kick the AC on and it should be fine like that but at least it does work and I tested it myself the other night remember how I said that when you put the wire in one of the fuse blocks it would overheat the wire would start heating up with the new fan it doesn't do that so the old one was shorted out that's also why it sounded all gritty. But I should have it pretty well fixed now and have it done the right way. Especially if she's able to turn on the AC and it actually kicks on. That's a good sign. But. I'm on my way back from lunch. Got my tire pumped up good and probably gonna go tire shopping sometime soon. I don't know how I'm gonna afford to buy them, but I gotta do something. I can't be without my truck. I rode in her car this morning to work and it got me there, but I'm a lot more comfortable in my truck doing this. So, I'm gonna make sure that it stays up and running good and do what I got to do to be able to drive it all the time. Now hers, I'm not positive, but I'm leaning toward it being the uh, fuel pump has gone out in it because I said the other day in the video that I'd never changed it and that's not true. I actually changed it last year. I just forgot about it. Um, I changed hers at the same time I changed the one in this one. I just bought two of them and did it. Um, of course, my daughter's got basically the same truck only with a smaller motor. And I bought a new one for hers also at the time. But anyway, back at work, I just kind of want to do a little, little update. Two more hours and I'm out of here for the day. Did 
the late lunch thing because I waited on somebody else to go to lunch first and he was going late as it was so our first shift is actually leaving right now and it's 2.30 and we should have some more of them leaving here in about another 30 minutes and then like I said in another two hours I'm out of here but that's it uh, thank you guys for watching and you have a great day I'll talk to you soon